Hi, I'm Dr. Cher. And I'm going to talk to you today about one of my key principles. It's a pillar in my program, in my approach for weight loss. Um, you may have heard some of my previous videos and when I'm, I'm speaking about weight loss, obviously is, you know, inches and pounds and all that type of stuff. But I usually look at it through a broader lens, more the concept of what I call body freedom, meaning losing weight. Yes. Losing inches. Yes. But living a lifestyle that allows you to maintain your weight with ease, allows you to be healthy, allows you to have flexibility. So you have freedom in your body, freedom in your mindset. So you're not stuck in the struggles, stuck in the, the, the nonstop thinking about food and weight and all of that and freedom in the lifestyle. So you can live a lifestyle where you've got the routines, you can rely on yourself, you know how to maintain your weight and you can be flexible with that. And that's what ultimately I find, that's what a lot of people want, right? They, they can lose weight, might even hit their goal, but they might still feel that they they have to be so rigid and restrictive and, and don't trust their bodies, don't trust themselves. So even if they hit their goal, they're still somewhat trapped in the struggle. And of course, that's not sustainable inevitably. Wheels fall off the bus and they start putting the weight on again. So when I speak of weight loss, I'm looking at it through a broader lens and achieving this body freedom. And that's certainly how I work with my particular clients is, is around achieving that. And of course, weight loss is definitely one of the outcomes, but it's much broader than that. So I've talked about four of my, sorry, three of my principles already. One is having the game plan, which creates structure, clarity, so you know exactly what you need to do and it's right for you. The third one is a powerful, sorry, the second one is a powerful why. The motivation, the drive to carry you through the weight loss journey, carry you through into maintenance. It comes from a deep and powerful place. It's not the excited motivation that is generally short lived, particularly when it comes to maintaining weight. It's something that's sustainable. It's attached to your values and what's most important to you. And that gives you the purpose behind wanting to lose weight and live a healthy lifestyle. The, the third, key principle to work towards as part of your weight loss journey is creating the sustainable routines. And this is particularly important in how you go about losing weight. It's going to set you up that you can get into a lifestyle where, as I call it, 80-20. You've got the routines, you've got the habits, you just know what you need to do. You don't need to overthink it. You don't need to over plan. And if you do that 80% of the time, you'll be healthy, you maintain your weight, and you can have some flexibility. That's the 20%. But now I'm going to the fourth principle, which is probably the one that trips people up the most and most commonly is the principle that people do not integrate into their weight loss journey and hence why they don't reach their goal or they get on this perpetual up and down roller coaster ride. And this fourth, fourth principle, I call it having a course correction. So as you can imagine, when you've probably, if you've been struggling with your weight in the past, that, and I hear this from a lot of people when they, from their past stories prior to working with me, maybe they've lost weight in the past, um, very proud of themselves, you know, they feel great, um, but then the slow gain starts to happen. Sometimes faster, but often the slow gain is three pounds, then it's five, then it's ten. And this is not overnight, it's over a period of time. So one of the things that they find that they're missing is once that starts to happen, they don't have a game plan, they don't have the structure, they don't have the tools to turn it around. And this is mindset, you know, shifting mindset into like, oh, I need to shed a little bit of weight here. But it's also with the body, it's also having the strategies to make it very simple to turn it around. And this certainly applies, it could apply while losing weight, right? As you're losing, maybe there's a setback, you bounce up. That, that can be a very, very tr difficult situation for a lot of people because once they start, they're like, oh, next week I'll deal with it. Oh, next week. And then they're gaining, they're not making their, the momentum to, towards reaching their goal. Or, but more importantly, I find it often happens after people have reached their goal because they've got the excitement of losing weight, um, which is exciting. Let's face it, it is. Maintenance is boring. Not, not much is happening there. But you know what? Boring is good. You want your lifestyle 
to be very, when it comes to this kind of stuff, routine. Get your excitement from other areas in your life that are much more fulfilling. But the problem is, is people in the maintenance phase, they get that, I don't know, maybe it's for, it's, it could be a stressful time period, it could be a holiday, just a lot of social occasions, and it's like, oh, geez, I'm up three pounds. Three pounds doesn't seem like a lot. It's not going to be a big deal, but next thing you know, that's another two or three. And then, you know, as you know, it goes on and on. So for a lot of people, if they have that point where they're like, okay, you know what? I'm carrying that extra four pounds. It's a lot easier, a lot faster to turn that around, go back in mindset wise into the mindset of I'm going to lose weight. I'm not maintaining. If I say maintaining is that 80, 20, have some flexibility, go back into the mindset, make the shift. I need to go back into trying to lose my weight again, but having very clear cut strategies to do it. The course correction. It's not loosey goosey. A lot of times people might think, Oh, I'll cut back a bit. I'll exercise more. And it's not the same as when they were very focused on trying to lose weight. So course correction is having, very clear strategy knowing because once you know what you need to do it's actually very simple just to embrace it and just you know bring in those 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 tactics and drop the weight quickly certainly the, i would find that with the method i use now that's probably the most powerful shift for a lot of people from my 10 years ago when i used to use a much more traditional approach for weight loss now the approach I use is based on using your body fat for fuel. It's, we lose, use various forms of intermittent fasting. So as a result of this, when people realize, oh, I've put on a few pounds, again, they apply the first principle, game plan. But the game plan now is just to do a little course correction. Their why? They, because their reasons for wanting to do it, that engages the, their, their mindset to like, I can do this. And then having the, the routines and having the methodology to just knock off the, that weight. They do that, and then guess what? Then they go back to now their maintenance mode, that 80-20. So it's learning how to do that dance. Because life happens. You know, it's it could be a holiday, which is fun. I mean, I've gone on holidays, you know, when you go traveling especially. If you don't want to feel like, oh, they've got to hold back. I can't enjoy some of the foods. But when you know that you have... A strategy you know what you need to do when you come back you don't need to be afraid of that in fact a lot of people think that people who have had weight issues often think that people who are slim or have never had weight issues oh, they never have to do this they don't have to worry about this it's true they don't need to worry but it doesn't mean they don't do this it's just a way of being so it doesn't involve the emotional baggage sometimes that it can it can have for people that have struggled with weight where they feel discouraged and upset you know and then because they're feeling badly maybe they want to do a little stress eating often people that are slim um it's just because they have a habit of doing these course corrections but it's just again it's just part of their their lifestyle and it's not a big issue I saw this firsthand of a friend of mine who's never had a weight issue very very slim and we were away at her cottage and it was very interesting because she'd had several social events in that week and she she said to me do you mind if we need to have a lighter dinner i want i want to just lighten up today my food because you know i overdid a lot during the week and um, i thought this is interesting a lot of people would think well she would never have to do that she's slim but in fact she's probably slim because she's just she's aware of it and it's just easy and she's got her strategies does a little course correction so she can have those time periods where there's overindulgence but not feel guilty not be worried about it know what she needs to do little course correction boom back into maintenance mode so that is the course correction that's my the fourth principle which is probably one of the most powerful ones because that is truly what will break this the struggle of losing and then getting the slow creep and then ah, now it's a big production now i've got 10 20 whatever pounds to lose it's like just do little corrections along the way just like if you're sailing a boat it's better to do little tacks as opposed to waiting until you're way off and then it's oh here we go again and here we go again just you know the little ones and once you've got the strategies to do that it's it's very straightforward and it is um not onerous doesn't feel restrictive 
So think back on your journey when you struggled in the past, when you've put weight on, just think, did you know what to do? Would you know now if you're trying to lose weight? What would you do if you put on three, four pounds? Do you know I have very clear strategies, you know will work, you just gotta implement them. And if not, then this is something that you need to, to be aware of and look for when you're looking to, to lose weight. And set yourself up to keep it off so you can have body freedom. Freedom in your body, freedom in your mind, freedom in your lifestyle. Thank you.